Have you ever wanted to just rip one of these up? Well, here's your chance. The Parking Administration now allows you to turn in canned goods in exchange for a wave citation. Would you rather this tree or this tree? That's the question many families face while Christmas tree shopping every year. Family, fun, and pumpkins? It can't get any better than that. I have on my yoga attire. Let's go do some yoga in the pack. Your Lafayette has had more than 10 cases of simple crime since August 1st. The university has confirmed that there is no longer a chief of police in office. There are 65 emergency phones posted throughout campus. But with the push of this button, ULPD can be contacted directly. But who will make the final decision in case of an emergency? Do students even feel safe? Lafayette General is one of the many hospitals around Acadiana Parish that one NICU nurse travels to to deliver sweet little gifts. This handmade hat, along with many other clothing, comforts the hearts of many worried parents. The poses will have certain Halloween themes to them um, to make it fun uh, and accessible to the kids. Um, so when I became an intern at the Family Tree, uh, they were super excited that I was a yoga instructor and they're like, you're going to be doing yoga in the pad. The Family Tree, a counseling center in Lafayette, holds an event every holiday to bring families together. So the program originally started as Parenting Through the Arts and it um, was with a dance academy and then we did other forms of art as well, drawing, things like that. And um, so we had our very first uh, pumpkin patch here and we just played with pumpkins basically. And then we decided to incorporate yoga the next year and so this is our third year doing it. Family, fun, and pumpkins? It can't get any better than that. Let's go do some yoga. It was my first time trying yoga, so I was pretty focused. But as for the kids, they were in their own little world, showing off their costumes and running around in the patch. I mean, it's outside, which I love to be outside. You don't have to be quiet. You can be fun. You can be messy. You can go back and forth between the crafts and between the pumpkin decorating and between, you know, the hay maze. And there's just so much to do. And children aren't limited anywhere. They're not limited in their noise volume. They're not limited in the way they use their body. They're not limited in the way they use their imagination. And so it's just, um, it's a really freeing activity that parents and children can participate in together. After lots of yoga and pumpkin picking, the event was a total success. To keep up with more of the Family Trees events, you may visit their website at www.acadianafamilytree.org. Dayan Brewer, Acadiana News One. A being stared at. Why do people stare at him? You might ask. That's Adam Touche, a multimedia journalist with a disability. He works at News 15. I believe it's called syndactyly. Uh, basically, it was like just kind of a web. So instead of having fully formed fingers, they were kind of just all bunched up like this. His disability is a birth defect. The 30-year-old has had two full-time cheerleaders every step of the way. My parents always told me from day one, that it's like, you're going to be just like everybody else. You're going to be able to do what everybody else does. You just might have to find different ways to go about doing it. That wasn't too difficult for Touche at all. He does everything from washing dishes, folding laundry, and even reports the news successfully like anyone without a disability. Touche says he has always been self-conscious about his hand, so he tends to hide it from others, but sometimes... There's going to be people that just don't notice. That's the answer I got from his co-workers when I asked, how is it working with Touche? And I find that absolutely fascinating to me that I had no recollection of this or no knowledge that he was disabled. His work ethic is 100 plus percent and also his personality is one of the rare ones that he can make you laugh. And it could have been real easy for me to be like, well, I have a disability so I can't do this and... I think for me what keeps me going is is that I would just be bored if I just like took it easy. Like Every amount of hard work Touche puts into his job pays off. He says this may be his favorite job, but he's not done yet. Every job I keep getting in broadcasting I'm surprised by, but I keep doing it and I guess I'm not going to stop. For Acadian and News One, I'm Dayan Brewer. <laughs> I can't believe I made the biggest mistake of my life. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, STD rates in the United States are at an all-time high. 
About one in 40 people has contracted an STD. Um, Louisiana recently last year had one of the highest statistics for STDs in the United States. Madeline Ordorn, Chief Administrator of Student Health, tries her best to educate on her downtime, especially on the STDs she sees the most. You see. Um, gonorrhea, okay. chlamydia. That's probably the two most common that we see every day. Um, There's only two ways that this can be prevented. Don't have sex or... I just feel like it could have all been avoided if I would have just used protection in the first place. But who informs the younger generation? Yeah, it should start with the parents because I find a lot of times students will come in, they don't know how to put on a condom still. Or they don't know what chlamydia is or gonorrhea is and they're very confused about all of that. Ardorn says the Student Health Center offers testing, education, and free condoms. The CDC says people between the ages of 15 and 24 are most likely at risk. I decided to ask people of those ages if their parents ever educated them. No, they have not. I have never gotten the talk in my life. Nah, not really. My mom mentioned it one time and she was just like, don't do it. Um, they basically said just to use a condom. So what would you rather? Spend tons of money on STD treatments or save money and purchase a pack of condoms? It is never too late to get tested. Head over to your local clinic and get checked today. Day Iron Brewer, Acadiana News 1. I 